everybody! Today I am going to be doing a bookshelf decor haul. I've never seen anybody do one of these videos on their channel before, but I'm sure it's been done. But anyways, let's just get started. So the first two items that I have are from Michael's craft store, but like they have the home decor stuff as well. And there are these little keys. They're like these vintage looking keys. And I want to say these were only like $1.50. They were really inexpensive and they look so cute. So this is the first one that I got and usually it hangs right here. Sometimes you can probably see it in the background of my videos. And then I also got this one, which I like even more. It looks more like a Victorian era key. I just think it looks really cute. And I actually haven't been able to find a place for this yet, so it's just like hanging on another part of my wall. But I really want to incorporate it into my bookshelf at some point. The next thing I also got at Michael's, and this definitely has to be one of my favorite items on my bookshelf. And it is this mirror. I don't want to like blind you guys with the light so I'm trying to face it away but it's this really pretty like Victorian era mirror, handheld mirror and one of, I think one of the reasons I really liked it was because it reminded me of the mirror from Beauty and the Beast and I actually got a, another bookshelf from the Christmas tree shop that's black and I just lay this on the shelf next to my Twisted Tales books and I think it looks really pretty. And then on that same shelf I also have this mug which I got for my birthday from my aunt and my cousins. So it's this Belle mug from the Disney store and I absolutely love it. I love the handle. So on one side there's Belle and then on the other side she's a little farther away and it says make your own fairy tale and we have like Mrs. Potts right here and Lumiere and Chip. I just think this looks really, really pretty. This next item I also got for my birthday, and it is this, like, necklace pocket watch. But it's absolutely beautiful, and if you click the little button, it opens up. And it's Paris-themed as well, so the picture in the back is of the Eiffel Tower. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, so obviously this reminds me a lot of the rabbits, the white rabbits pocket watch which I'm wearing an Alice in Wonderland shirt right now. And then the next two items I have are my first ever Funko Pops. So this first one I got for my birthday as well, and it's of the Cheshire Cat. And yes, I did take both of them out of their boxes. To me, I wanted to start collecting Funko Pops to display on my shelf, and I just don't have room to like display them when they're in their boxes. And like I know people say that, oops, I thought I broke it for a second. But his head just moved. <laughs> so this one is of the Cheshire Cat from Alice Through the Looking Glass. And he is a little bit messed up. His hand is like supposed to fit into this little thing on his foot. And on this one it's resting on top of the thing that it's supposed to fit into. So it looks a little wonky but that's okay. And I was actually really impressed because he has to sit just on his tail. And I was like there's no way his giant head is going to hold him up. But it actually does, and I think it looks really cute on my shelf. This is where he was before, but now I put him over here next to my Bambi Disney mug, which you can't see. And my second ever Funko Pop is of Sherlock. I was contemplating whether I should get the 11th Doctor or Sherlock, but I ended up getting Sherlock. Really big fan of the TV show. So this is just the plain one. He doesn't have his violin or his, like detective get up or whatever and I haven't quite found a proper place for him yet either because I wasn't the Cheshire Cat compared to the, like the normal Funko Pops is a bit tinier so I didn't expect him to be this big so originally I was going to put this in front of my special edition Alice in Wonderland and then put him in front of my Sherlock Holmes and then I was planning on getting a Star Wars Funko Pop but they just can't fit properly so I need to find a different place for him instead and the last few items in this haul are all Halloween related. So the first thing I got was from the Christmas tree shop and it was only a dollar which was a really good price. And it is this little book looking thing and it has a skeleton on the front and there's lots of glitter which is now falling off all over my lap. But it says spooky and it has some bats in it and I just love the way it looks. But it's like really hefty. But it was only a dollar, which is really good, and it says spooky down the spine. And I have this sitting on my shelf with all of my Lord of the Rings books. And the last four items are all from the Dollar Tree for only a dollar each. I like these little Halloween 
town things. I don't know how to explain it. It, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, how Christmas time, how people set up those little towns. It's kind of like that, but Halloween and they don't like move or light up or anything. So I got this one, which is of a haunted house. This one is of like these front gates to like a graveyard or whatever. And the like pathway is made of skeleton heads. And then there are these cute little gargoyles. Then we have a tomb here, which I thought looked really cute. I don't know why I'm saying cute in terms of these, like, graves and stuff, but anyways. The last one I got is of the Grim Reaper. So I set these up on the top of my bookshelf, just in, like, a little scene with the gate in the front and the haunted house in the back and then the tomb and the, the Grim Reaper. I thought it looked really cool on top of my bookshelf. So yeah, that was my bookshelf decor haul. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of these kind of haul videos. I can't believe I'm telling you this now, but I used to have a channel in the past where I would do a lot of hauls, and I kind of miss doing them, so I thought, how can I incorporate hauls, besides books, obviously, into a booktube channel? So I thought bookshelf decor, which I buy a lot of. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!